Hey guys, yes, you heard right, we bought a camper. I'm currently in it because it's raining outside, but I'm so excited to show you guys. So this is part one, step one to our journey, going off grid, being self-sufficient, having our own homestead. It's a little crazy, it's gonna be a little crazy the next year or so, but this is gonna be our home until then. So first let me say, if I look a little rough, it's because I'm super tired, had a late night, long day, and I just, the weather has me like, so anyways, um, so Saturday went and looked at a camper um, and it was really nice. So I'm like getting it. Um, I bought it. I bought it. Paul had to, um, he had pulled out some cash um, the other day because he looked at a camper in Oklahoma, but it was like it was junk. <clears throat> and I figured if I bought a camper here in Indiana and I went and picked it up, I would be able to clean it start putting stuff in it and know how much stuff we can take because we are really downsizing like anything that we can fit in this camper is what we're taking anything we can't has to go which kind of sucks i'm having a hard time with that because i don't like to part with my stuff especially the stuff we've accumulated over the past seven years so i'm having a little hard time with that but i will i will make it through it anyways so the money that paul had pulled out um you know the bank we have you can't there's no banks close by there's like one branch in texas and he's not by texas so he had to transfer me the money um via walmart to walmart or moneygram whatever <sighs> let me just say i spent an hour trying to get that money it took me four times and paul going back two different times to get two different like refunds and like reference numbers for me to get this money um basically the problem was the area that paul's in there's a lot of fraud with the money grams and the amount of money was great it was two grand he was trying to transfer me so it took four times and an hour to get this money finally got it had to go draw out a little bit more money and then went about 30 minutes away i took uh, my father-in-law with me because he's better at looking at like electrical stuff you know i have i know nothing about looked at it it all went you know really good everything looked solid so i was like doing it we're buying we're doing the thing so we paid cash we have no mortgage this is our little home we officially own a camper it's a 25 foot camper um it's actually really cute i'm going to show you guys in just a minute i just want to continue to talk just for another minute or so um super excited and the more like we've been in this thing constantly since we brought it home like the kids are super excited like they're in it right now um they're excited now but give it like another six months and they're gonna be sick and tired of the camper so with that being said we bought this camper outright we paid twenty three hundred dollars for it um so there's only a few things we have to fix in it which we're okay with that which one the bathroom the bathroom's like gutted there's nothing in the bathroom so we're gonna be pooping in a bucket for a while <laughs> that's gonna be fun so that's gonna pose a little challenging and it's gonna be really fun to watch our adventure um, and then the fridge um, I believe the fridge just needs Freon or whatever we have to have it looked at so hopefully it's just like a simple cheap fix but anyways those are like things that we can just deal with like we have a place to sleep it's solid it keeps us out of the weather um, it's livable so that's that was the biggest thing as long as we had something like a foundation to start with there we go. So finally, let me just give you a little tour of our new little home, our new little camper. Um, so back here, we have the bed, and I believe it's like a, it looks like a fuller queen. Now, I'm not keeping this mattress. Um, it's pretty funky smelling. I mean, the, the whole camper itself is really clean, but it's just like the thought of someone else sleeping on it, and it's a little funky smelling. I'm just gonna get rid of it. My plan for this is, um, if I have, I guess if I have to buy like a full size new mattress or a queen, that's fine. But I think I can put the two twin beds, my kids' two twin beds together on here and make it work. So that's my plan. And then under here is our water tank. And I believe the guy said that it holds um, 25 to 30 gallons of water. So we will have some running water in here. Of course, you can't see because of how I have this mattress laid. I wanted to make some more walk room for here because the mattress does hang over that a little bit. On this side, there is like a little nightstand, if you want to call it. Um, I have cabinets up top that I plan on putting clothes in because back here, um, 
it's really small. Um, it's just a little closet and I did, it's not going to fit a whole bunch of clothes. And Paul had said that we could get like a rack we're going to put up here, tanks and clothes, no big deal. I mean, we're just going to have to manage with what we have. So we're going to make some more storage to get by with storing some more in our little camper. So, so over here we have our beautiful table and it does convert into a bed. This does sleep four to six, probably four comfortably, six cozy. So it's perfect for us. We're a family of four, perfect. So we have our little table, it does convert. The dog is in here, he does love it. The dog is like totally for it. Um, up top we do have some cabinet space. And I went through and cleaned most of this out yesterday and sprayed for bugs just in case. Um, so I think I'm gonna store food up here. Um, canned goods, non-perishable items because especially if the fridge isn't working. And the fridge is only so big, I will show you, but the fridge is only so big. So like milk, eggs, cheese, that kind of stuff in the fridge. And if we come down below on each side, um, there's storage underneath. So I told the kids, um, we were going to have to get rid of a lot of the toys. Now the kids don't have a ton of toys, but they have enough. It's not all going to fit in here. So I told them they could each keep two little bins of toys. Um, and mainly my son likes Thomas and his dinosaurs and Paw Patrol, which will fit perfectly in two bins. My daughter on the other hand has a bunch of crap, so she's going to have to really like see what she wants. But so they each, they're going to stick two bins down in here of their toys. And the other side I will use for, I don't know, maybe like to store my cat litter and stuff like that. I don't know, dog food. I'll find, I mean, I'm going to have like this whole week to kind of plan things out. Okay. Now we turn over here. This is the couch, our beautiful couch, and it does convert down into a bed. I literally just put it up into a couch because the kids asked me to. And I mean, there is some good room in here, so it's not like too claustrophobic. I'm not claustrophobic. I think it's really cozy. I'm really excited. So here's our couch. Up above, we do have some cabinet space. Not a lot. Like, I don't know what I'm sticking in there. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and we do have a little shelf on the back i think i'm gonna put my succulents my little plants back there after we get stationed because lord knows moving down the road i'm gonna have a bunch of broken stuff so this is our couch there's no um nothing underneath that we can really store stuff but it'll work so moving on so over here is our beautiful freezer and fridge now um it doesn't work like i said and so we have to get that fixed but i mean decent amount of freezer space to store you know a little bit of meat um in the fridge the fridge is actually decent size so i mean i can stick some half gallons of milk in there some cheese some butter eggs you know like the basic necessities of like the freezer food so and then down below i have a little bit of storage um, I don't know what I'm gonna stick down there so um, this is this would be the front door the door that I used back there is just I believe like a unnecessary exit like if there were a fire or something I don't know we're probably not gonna use that door very much it's mostly gonna be this one up front so in here is the bathroom now like I said the bathroom is not done it is gutted um, that's this is a project for us and the people we bought it from just kind of threw like this is um, a box of flooring to finish the flooring in there. Um, over here, I believe, would probably be the toilet. Um, I don't know. There's a medicine cabinet in here. Come over here. I believe over here would be like the shower because that is the skylight. It's a project, but like I said, like we can work through not having a working toilet and a shower actually paul went ahead and bought a camping shower it's like a, a five gallon bag that you fill with water and it slowly like drips water out so we probably will be showering outside just for a little bit um until we get well maybe even if we put like a tote in here we could probably shower inside that way when it's cold um we'll figure it out like all this is just going to be like a learning process for us so i'm not being negative about any of it um it's all learning and plus like i said we are gonna almost be debt free we're not gonna have a mortgage uh utilities so we will have to fill up on propane because this is dual like it does run off of um a battery which like i have it's almost like a car battery so i can use all my lights and anything electric right now 
Um, and then anything gas-wise, I have to use from the propane tanks, which there's two 20-pound propane tanks. So, like, here's my kitchen. Um, here's my stove. It's got a three-burner little stove top. I do have an oven. Now, as far as if it works, the guy said he never used it, so he doesn't even know if it works. So, I really hope it works because then I can still, like, I can probably put, I know I can bake some cookies in there. And I know I can do my bread still. So um, I can work yeah. with that. So I'm hoping that it still works. I do have a microwave. I don't know if we'll really use it. It's not working right now. I feel like it needs to be hooked up to a power source, like a generator, or like plug it into the house, which we won't have a house to plug into, but Paul is going to buy a generator. Um, I do have a radio. I do have a cabinet up top, which I plan on putting um, plates, bowls, and cups. And I'm only keeping enough that's like for us four. So four plates, four bowls, four cups, maybe a couple more cups because I like cups. Um, some silverware, and then I'm going to get some baskets to hang up on the wall and on the side of the cabinet to give me a little more um, room to store stuff. And I plan on getting some baskets or a rack to put like my spices um hang my coffee cups things like that i'm super excited guys um here's my sink i have two little sink things so i can do dishes inside and i will have running water once we fill that tank up um i do have some drawers gotta uh, i gotta fix that gotta fix it um I have some drawers I can store stuff in, so that's a plus. Um, probably try to keep, not silverware, but maybe um, some household items in there. Soap, uh, maybe some some food, I don't know. I forgot to show you. I do have for mommy and daddy time. Because you're probably wondering, how are you guys going to have mommy and daddy time? Yeah, I'm blocking the kids out. Mom and dad time. I, I mean the love will not die. You're probably curious about air conditioning and heating. Yeah, I do yeah. have... On top, there is an air, and well, AC and heating unit. Now, I don't know if it runs off of the propane or if we would need a generator, but when I went and... Boo! Leave it alone. Um, when I went and looked at it, the guy turned the AC on, and it did blow cold. I mean, within five minutes, it was, it was pretty cool in here. So, we do have that. Um... Let's see, we haven't used the heat yet. It probably runs off the propane, which we'll have to fill up the tank, so I don't know. Um, and if it doesn't work, we'll have to figure that out. So this is the first step to going off grid, having our own little homestead. Um, now the reason we are gonna live in this camper is because we are actually gonna build our own house, our own little homestead, farmhouse, whatever you wanna put it. So, and also, I, on my last video, I, I forgot to mention, like, someone asked what is, like, the purpose of going off-grid, and I forgot the biggest reason is to be debt-free. Um, majority of homesteaders, uh -huh. off-grid people are debt-free. They don't have a mortgage, they don't have utilities, they don't pay for water, any of that stuff. Like, you are literally completely debt-free. Now, we, um, we will not be non-debt-free for a few years because we do still have car payments, and um, we will probably have to be we're gonna try not to use a credit card we're gonna try to pay for everything cash because it's the smartest thing you can do and with not having to pay for a mortgage or rent or whatever utilities we'll have that extra money each month to go and buy stuff to build a house or things we need but on the off chance if we have to use a credit card like holding that camera i don't have my camera stand it's killing my arm um on the off chance of like for um emergency purposes we'll use a credit card so but like i said we have the car payment um so that that's our that will be our biggest debt and then cell phones we have to have a cell phone where we're at so we will have a few things we're paying for but the big ticket items we will not have any debt for so that was a really big reason why um we want to be off grid we're going off grid we're going to try um, our homestead we don't want any debt that's the biggest reason people go off grid because they want to get out of debt they don't want to have any debt and I'm just super excited to get this thing rolling um, I think Paul said he might come home Thursday so we might be taking off Friday um, it, 
the October 4th, I believe. Um, so we'll see, but I'm really excited because like this little camper is our home. And even though it's probably like, I'm totally optimistic about everything, but I realistically know like this is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, we're going to get annoyed with living in a camper. We're going to get tired of living in a camper. We're going to get sick of each other. Um, it's just going to be really hard, but it's one of those things that it's really hard, but you prevail through it and it makes you stronger and you can see like, how strong you are, like the kind of things that you are capable of getting through. So I'm not worried about any of that. And I can make this look really homey. Like I'm so excited to do that. Like a DIY or DIY, whatever. How are you put it? Do it yourself. Um, camper fixer upper. And this is really, it's not a bad camper. Like I said, look how, I mean, it's really clean. It's well taken care of. There is some stuff that we have to, of course, um, fix up like the bathroom. But, you know, I'm going to, like, I plan on painting, reupholstering, this ugly stuff. Like, I'm going to make it look really cute. So, our biggest thing right now, step one, we have bought a camper. So, we are on our way. Step two is, I have to go through all of our stuff. I have to completely downsize, um, which is a big pain in the butt. And it's kind of a heartache because I really don't like getting rid of stuff. But... For the purpose of it, we're moving forward. It's going to better us in the long run. That's what I'm doing. And if it happens to, like, we don't make it, like, in the year or two, like, we decide it's not for us, we well, got to start over. No big deal. I mean, it's it's everything. You can replace the material things. So I'm not worried about it. Like I said, this is going to pose a lot of challenges for us. Um, fun challenges, annoying challenges, stressful challenges. It's just going to be one big adventure. Um... So if you're really curious how this is all going to turn out or how it's going to go or you just want to see like how we live in a camper, a family of four, a 25 foot camper, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and continue to watch because maybe maybe you, you see me and Paul doing this and you think maybe we can do this. Like this is what we want to do and it just kind of gives you a little motivation. Let me tell you, anybody can do anything. It's people get let fear get the best of them and they don't continue to push forward or they let people and their doubts and their opinions stop them from doing anything they really want to do. Like if you don't do something and you don't try it, how do you know that it works for you or that, you know, you're going to like it or you're not going to like it? You have to try stuff in order to figure out if it's for you and if you're going to succeed or fail with it. So it's a learning process, but you can't let fear and other people's opinions stop you on anything you want to try to do. You know, me and Paul were going to keep this hush hush until we got moved out there. And that was the biggest purpose of why we were going to have Paul go find a camper out in Oklahoma because we didn't need people's opinions. Well, clearly, I had to tell my father-in-law the situation because I asked him to go look at a camper with me. So, I mean, he had his opinions on, has his opinions on it, doubts. Like, our whole family just doubts us. Um, most of it is because the whole Tennessee thing failed, but that was not, like, our fault that that failed. Yes, we could have stayed out in Tennessee, but we literally could not afford to rent anywhere with paying that mortgage. The mortgage we were paying was like $1,100 a month on top of utilities, other things that arose. So it just did not work out and it was not our fault. It's one of those like things that happens. To be honest, I don't think we have any of our family on our side on this, which it doesn't matter because we're grown adults and we make our own decisions. But sometimes it would be nice to have like family kind of like be positive about things so i i don't think any of our family are like on on this adventure with us but that's fine that's fine so if we fail we fail and if we succeed then they have nothing to say but i truly think we'll succeed at this and that's in my head i'm being positive about this um that's just that's just me though y'all are about to see some real raw shit here um it's gonna get real like, and I can't wait to just document all of it because I'm that kind of person, like, I like to show my life and, like, the things we struggle with or we succeed with because there's a ton of people that are in the same situation and they think they're alone, and, but when they see somebody else get through it or do it, then it's, you know, and especially, like, how I put it, I like to make my life kind of, like, in a, a funny, humorous way, like, even though it might suck, I like to make it humorous. Yeah. So it kind of helps people like get through their bad situation if they can see the humor in it. 
So that's how I'm going to portray all this. And it, you might see some downright serious feels. Like, you might see some tears. You might see some anger. Like, this is all just going to be completely raw documentation of, like, us trying to go off-grid. And I really cannot wait to show you guys how we take a shower. Because I am, like, I'm curious myself how that's going to work. Because I'm going to have to boil the water. Well, unless we fill that water tank up and we get the hot water from the sink. I don't know. So I'm really curious how that's going to work and like how we're going to go to the bathroom. Like, are we going to poop in a five gallon bucket? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So I just wanted to show you guys what we did. We officially bought a camper we're going to live out of. And this is the first step to us trying to live off grid, go off grid. Um, and I apologize if my videos are behind. It's been really crazy and it's just going to get even more crazy. But I'm going to continue to post even if. Even if I have to drive clear into town to find reception to upload my videos, y'all know I'm going to do that. And the terrain up where we have property is not very good. So I'm sacrificing to make sure you guys can watch. <laughs> so, um, like I said, if you guys are new to my channel and you want to continue this adventure with us and see like all of our happenings we got going on, like subscribe right now because this is just the beginning of our whole adventure going to Oklahoma. We're living in a camper. Um, this is this is part one. This is step one of our many steps process of going off grid homesteading. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, my little camper tour. You know, welcome to my crib tour. So um, yeah, I have um, some stuff to do today. I gotta get some stuff in the camper and I gotta downsize. So I will be back in a day or so um, with some more updates. Uh, maybe some, if I have some organization that I put in here, I don't know. I don't know. It's all going to be like random stuff, but it's from here on out, it's all going to be towards our new adventure in Oklahoma. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or remarks, anything, please feel free to comment in the comments below. Um, I will try to answer them either in my next video or if I have time to comment, I will go ahead. I do read them all, but it's just if I can comment back or not. But like I said, I will answer them either way. I will either comment back or I will just post it in my next video. Um, so with that being said, I will see y'all the next time I post. See ya!